sharpshooter, and that has haunted him his whole career. Left hand by Gamboa. Gamboa backs off. He's 5'5 five, five and a half, Steve. Very short for a featherweight or junior lightweight. I don't know if you noticed, but he's throwing the right hand. Breathe. Throw the jab, throw the jab. When he throws himself, then you make your move. Action from round two, Gamboa with a counter right hand. Oh, the only reason that punch missed is because Rojas turned away as he punched himself. That's the kind of explosive one-punch attack that Gamboa brings. Okay. We head to the third. Scheduled for 12. Jose Rojas has to start putting something together offensively. And Yuri Orcas Gamboa. Let's go has taken his time in this fight he has not gotten ahead of himself he's fighting very much under control i would say cautious for him Steve. yeah i mean we know he in a physical sense we know how overwhelming he can be but he hasn't really had to prove so far in 14 fights can he think in the ring this might be the fight where he has to prove that he can do that good point he's been 10 twice every opponent he faced winning records but limited compared to rojas's resume Just waiting to crank it up, isn't he? One thing I, I I think he's very respectful of the way Rojas moves, but I haven't seen Rojas, I haven't seen the Gamboa move the way I, as fluid as I, I've seen before. He's constantly creating fresh opportunities in the fights we've seen. It's very important for Gamboa to stay on balance because the, the kind of defense Rojas uses. You know, with his hands down, leaning away, you're going to miss him with the first shot. Yeah, but you're yeah. going to hit him with the second shot. Yeah, he dips. He did dip right into a shot. Exactly. Gamboa comes in square. He's just showing the jab. He's not getting there with it against the left. He, big right hand from, from him. You know, he landed a hook once, but Gamboa. Give me a glass. Oh, yeah. Off again. He's a little wound up. And Boa for telling the southpaw is not an issue. We haven't seen the jab much from him be effective at all. Very true. Roundhouse uh, left hook as he tried to barrel in and go sink a right hand to the body. Okay, slip. It was a right hand to the body, but on the turn, it was Rojas falling over his own feet. Gamboa just showing the left hand. Put your hand, guys. Breathe out, Let's go. We haven't seen much success from Rojas offensively. What makes him difficult offensively to fight is he'll throw wide wild shots. He'll also, also throw a straight left hand. That's going to be the punch he's going to need. Nothing wild. And I think the uppercut, too. Gamboa trying to dial it now and rev it up as he lets go like a fan turned on full blast. Rojas tries to hold him off and push him back. And Gamboa stares him down. Gamboa can't get that jab in, but he got the hook in behind the right hand there. Now he's turning, but the opportunity evades him. Closing out the third. Not a lot of action, but some bursts from the Cuban. Looks like a little swelling in the right eye of uh, Rohan. Underneath, yes. Oh my, um, oh, oh my. Some air, take some air. Oh my. Get some air. Number one. Number one. That guy you have in your hand. Number two. You have to put your hands up. Don't get disorganized. You understand me? You're going to kill him. You, you don't get disorganized. Put your hands up and make do your work. 
Action from round three. Russell Moore rules this a slip. And yes, Gamboa's left foot tripped Rojas's right foot. Sure, good call. And here comes Gamboa. You know, these kind of whirlwind combinations don't always produce a knockdown or a knockout. But I'll tell you what, when you do this for 15 seconds, you're going to win the round every time. Absolutely. But Ismail Salas got all over Gamboa for getting ahead of himself and fighting out of control. Got to wipe that off. But Miguel Diaz attended to that okay, swollen left hand good. with the end swell, look, swollen left eye, of, uh, and got it down. He's reduced the swelling, the right eye, I should say, a little bit. Yeah, it's still there, though, Nick. I see it's a bubble sure. there. Oh, that yeah, could really be a problem. It's on the eyelid and underneath. So that right hand has landed. Maybe that book caught him, too. You know, Gamboa, it's sort of a dilemma. You gotta like wind him down a little bit, but you don't want to take away his initiative. To, to yeah, that's exactly. So you gotta walk that fine line with him. But Salas, a very experienced amateur trainer. Now he's not getting ahead of himself. He's just placing his shots. But Rojas, nothing coming offensively. Look at him. Goes the bullet trigger. It's not there. So it's a speed duel that he knew he couldn't even go about winning. But Steve, I would still think an experienced guy would try to set a few traps for the younger Gamboa. He's been doing that, but Gamboa's not fighting. You don't see Gamboa. See, look at Gamboa staying way out of distance, way out of range with that jab. He's not stepping into the range where he can be counted, and he's not leading from too far away. So he's winning these uh, rounds on little bursts. Exactly, and that's fine. I think that's a very smart strategy. Especially in a 12-round fight, and there's a lot on the line. He doesn't want to get caught with a shot. Nice right hand. And, and when did he throw that right hand? When Rojas led. So I think smart boxing from Gamboa so far. And what I love about this kid, Nick, is when he lets go, the punches flow. You know, there's no other way to describe how absolutely. And they have plenty on them. Smooth, man. But it's funny, even Salas told us, the trainer, that a lot of Cubans, for all as smooth as they are, they really had difficult adjusting. Uh, that looked like a low blow. Some difficulty adjusting to a pro style. Sure. And they have some difficulty adjusting outside the ring as well, given all the freedom that they uh, suddenly, well, have. He defected to Germany from Cuba and now lives in Miami with his family. finally reunited with his family. I'm afraid, uh, Nick, that right eye is going to be a problem for all of us. Well, an occasional hook has landed in that right hand, the right cross, doing the damage there. Break! Step back. And Boa not in distance to sink his jab in against the left-hander. And not even trying, he tried on the right. Russell Moore warning Gamboa for the third time to keep them up. Gamboa using this 20-foot ring. Punching when he wants, moving when he wants. Controlling this fight, and again the burst of firepower to win each round. It would seem. As we wind down the fourth here in Prim Nevada, Yuri Orcas Gamboa, his perfect record on the line in a featherweight title fight against Jose Rojas. Miguel Diaz needs to go to work. Stay still, stay still. You, you're jumping off your rim. You gotta be calm. Everything smooth. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't get on water right now. You have to touch him. You have to touch him. The, the right, right. You gotta change your tactic. Jab, jab. You gotta, you gotta touch him and get him with the left hand. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. And I second that emotion. He's got to get it in gear to roll out. Then one around on our cards. No, sir. Because he hasn't done enough offensively. Hasn't exploited his height and reach. He doesn't have the speed to stay with the Cuban. And he hasn't really landed a flush shot on him. 
awkward move there by Rojas didn't work either. I, I, I feel, Nick, that 